Hey you guys, welcome back. It's your girl, A. Marie. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, I would love it if you like, subscribe, and become a part of the D4L click by clicking the notification bell. So today, I was coming up with this look and I wanted to use a palette that I haven't used in a while. So I was like, you know what? That light bulb went off. How about we do Throwback Thursdays? So the whole point of Throwback Thursdays is to use a product or products in a video that I haven't used in a long time. Product or products that have been hyped long time ago. So I felt like I should start a series. You guys let me know what you think down below. Every Thursday's upload would be a Throwback Thursday here on our channel if you're interested in something like that go ahead and comment down below and to make it even more interesting all products are shown in the video but it's a mixture of throwback Thursday products and current products so the little interesting part is that you comment down below what you think was a throwback Thursday product if you're correct you will be shout it out in the next tutorial of a throwback thursday and possibly maybe to make it a little more interesting you would get a sweet little gift from your girl depending on how y'all are accept accepting to the videos i would do a couple of throwback thursday videos and the first person that gets the throwback thursday products product or products right I will shout you out in a video and you have entered you have your way of entering a giveaway now the giveaway won't be every single video because I'm just not about that life but I will do one big throwback Thursday giveaway and everybody that has gotten throwback Thursdays right every first person that has gotten the products right will be entered into that giveaway so if y'all interested interested in something like that please comment down below give this video a like so that i'll know to keep doing it share it with your friends so we can get more people into it and it'll be a new series that hopefully will last on my channel something y'all will be interested interested in um something totally different I don't know y'all let me know and on this makeup look yes I am using one two three four throwback Thursday products and in every video in my intro of course I will let y'all know exactly how many old products I'm using as a hint but it's up to you to tell me what product or products it is so I hope you guys enjoy this look if you want go ahead and recreate it tag me on my social medias you know all my handles are down below and in my banner so make sure if you're gonna recreate it go ahead and tag your girl and I hope that this is something new that we could get popping on the channel and have a little fun with it so I see you diamonds in the next video and hopefully next Thursday as well Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Hey you guys, we're here with a throwback Thursday type of video. So I'm going to start off with the palette P120 number 5 palette. And I'm just showing you guys all the shades that come in the palette. And yes, we're doing a throwback dance way back. So we're going to start off with this white eyeshadow and we're going to use the real techniques it is a shader brush but i didn't want the brow bone color to be too exact i wanted to look kind of blown out so that's why i used the shader brush and you guys y'all know i can never stay in frame for nothing like this i try my best but it just never works and of course, y'all know I started off with my eyebrows done 
if y'all need a updated eyebrow tutorial i will have it linked up in the i card as well as the hot box down below and this is my first time using these eyeshadow shade shader things for under your eye i don't know what they're called but now we're going to move into this tan brown color with my bh cosmetics number 13 brush i think it's called y'all know i swear by this brush and i can't never remember the number but i have thousands of them as backups so we're going to use that brush that bh cosmetics brush to blow out that brown shade color and we're going to marry the color into the white and make sure you build it up to your desire y'all know i go overboard when it comes down to me doing my eyeshadow but you do it however you like and I just keep going in circular motions and windshield wiper motions just to get that color payoff spread it evenly So now I went in with that reddish brown color with my Morphe. That's either a Morphe blending brush or a MAC blending brush. I wanted something smaller so that I could get right above and in the crease, but not too much over the tan brown that we already placed down. And I'm just showing you guys how, how important it is to blend. That's why you've seen this clip for a minute because you want to blend those colors in together as seamlessly as possible. And you're going to see me go back in with my BH Cosmetics brush that had that tan brown in it just to marry the two colors and bring that tan brown color back. So now I went in with that black color, that black eyeshadow, and I'm using my Real Techniques. I think this is like a more defined crease brush, and we're going to put it, put that black right into the crease. And if y'all haven't noticed, I wanted to do a cut crease, but I kind of wanted to keep the cut crease kind of low. I didn't want to do a dramatic cut crease. That's why we're going right, right at the crease so that it won't be too much to cut. And of course, we gotta take a coffee break, girl. Coffee break, coffee break. So now we're gonna go in with the P. Louise Rumor Number Two Base, and we're gonna start to carve out our cut crease. And I'm just showing you guys how low I want my cut crease. That's why I started in the center first. I wanted to keep it right underneath the black but enough for the eyelid space to show off the color that is going to be placed on our lids. And y'all not going to see it, but off camera, I do go in after I put in my lid color. I do go in and deepen up that black with a smaller brush, but I didn't do it on camera. That brush I'm using to cut my crease is a brush that I got off of Amazon or Wish or something like that. I've been rocking with this brush for a minute and it doesn't have a name on it so I can't tell you guys but 
that brush is a good brush for a cut crease and I done tried a lot of cut crease brushes and this one I seem to find myself going back to a whole lot. So here we are with the champagne off-white looking color that we're going to set our lids with and I think I'm using a QC Makeup Academy brush to do so. Um, now, as you see me place this champagne color on my lid, as you can tell, it's a tad bit sloppy, which I didn't mind because I did, like I said, go off camera and put the black back in to define my crease more. So it's okay to be sloppy as long as you clean it right back up. Trust me, you have to clean it right back up or that off-white champagne color will transfer into your crease. So I'm back, eyelashes done, wing liner done, face, foundation and powder, highlight, contour, everything is done because my camera had died. So I had to come back, you know, jigging a little bit, give y'all a little sample sample of what was done off camera. Goddamn camera died, so I do apologize. But now we're gonna go in with this Makeup Geek highlighter and I don't know the shade, if I can find it online i will put it down below in the hot box but i don't know the shade because i put this into a z palette and the little magnet thing that i used covered up my dang on writing on the back so i can't even tell you but i do know it's makeup geek because the two makeup geek products that i do have is a highlight and a contour shade so i do know for a fact it is makeup geek so yeah, we're gonna dance a little bit more. A A yeah yeah. <laughs> so now we're gonna go in with the Ruby Kisses lip liner in the shade Berry, and we're gonna line our lips. And we're not gonna do anything dramatic. I didn't overline or anything like that because this was more of a simple, easy cut crease. So we're not gonna go too dramatic. So now we're gonna go in with the LA Colors Lip Shine Gloss and it is in the shade Baby Cakes. I love, love, love Baby Cakes and Doll Face. Those are my two favorite shades in this line. I love them. So we're gonna go ahead and pop that on and it is a lip gloss and I love these because they are so pigmented. The color that is in the bottle is gonna be the color payoff that you get on your lips. And that is it. I hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you comment down below and let me know what products you think was a throwback Thursday type of product. And the first person that gets it right will be shouted out in the next throwback Thursday video as well as a enter into a giveaway. And y'all let me know how long should we do these throwback Thursdays before we get to the big giveaway. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this is something that interests y'all. And I want y'all to like, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends so we can get the throwback Thursdays popping. And you see what it say. Watch that next video. Subscribe. And follow your girl on Instagram. I love you all. And I'll talk to y'all in the next one. Mwah.